Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be doing One Piece episodes 99 and 100. Uh, last episodes, we kind of got to see uh, a little bit more of Alabasta, more of the uh, like the actual desert area and what these desert pirates and different types of pirates and just lots of really cool things. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. I really appreciate that. You can also check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash AJRich123 if you want to check early releases or uncut reactions. And let's go ahead and start. Huh. Yeah, the desert isn't for everybody. Uh, that's a hard terrain to live in in general. Once you've already lived there forever, I don't think they're going to really change their location. I can't get used to those umbrella hats, though. It's so strange. Yeah, he ran off or got lost or whatever, and then he never came back. Um, that, I have a feeling that's not orange juice. But what else would it be? <laughs> okay, that guy looks like he belongs in like the Mushroom Kingdom or something. It's a lost toad. Only booze and food. For them to just sit there. Of course, it's that type of strategy. They're that afraid of sand pirates? Ooh. Oh, it's one of those things. Wait, does that mean Ace is there? Yep. I mean, if you're going to get free food, you might as well give some to Ace. Um. <laughs> that was too easy. They were easy to bend the knee there. <laughs> wow, what a pansy. That fast. At least he caught up with them or found them. We love he's reliable too in his own way and helpful. See, technically, it's from, yeah, the rebel army. So, uh, yeah, because they're playing a big, they're just doing a big scam, like a big scam on the village to get free food. Seems like a good long-term scam for them. Kind of the same concept. Yeah. Her hearing that is probably going to make her want to help more so now. Because that's, yeah. There might be more people feeling like that. Ask them? So what are you going to do? Act like you're attacking the village or something? 
こようだビビちゃん。やっちゃ、なんか面白くなってきたな。え、面白いの。Luffy sees like everything is a game. Let's be real. So th this is this is another big game for him. And these, like, look at that. Such a pansy. Our free game is done. Let's go. Unfortunately, they've already done the damage. Oh my. Yeah. Now they have to fight the sea pirates. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's time to, you know, justify the pay you're getting. Maybe this will make them think they can beat them. They're like, oh, fake courage. They need a good solid strategy, but that's definitely not going to help regardless. Any strategy, they're going to get their asses kicked. Why the hell are they following that intensely? They want to see the, you know, they want to see the sea pirates get their butt kicked. Uh, yeah, he... They're waiting for you. Just the mention of them, you know, are scaring people off. Just their faces are going to scare them off. <laughs> I, I don't feel like Luffy and them are going to actually attack. It's just going to be the menacing presence of them. Or maybe, maybe they'll throw a punch. They don't really need to, though. Yeah, they're about as weak as they get. On the power scale, they're like 0.2. The only thing I feel bad about is the villagers, who have so much confidence in them. They probably wet their pants. They talked a big game, so why don't they at least try to put up an act? Where the hell are you hiding that? And it's an obvious lie. Because the villagers can tell there isn't there. <laughs> oh. Okay. So much for not attacking. That was, yeah, a bit too easy. Yeah, if you wanted to keep the villagers' confidence, and you're probably not going to get another meal. I know, the kids and everybody believes in them, but they're all weaker than Usopp. Oh, they were the kids before looking up to the, the people. I have a feeling this is one group I don't think has a chance on making their dreams. Yeah, he feels bad about that. Give him that. That was a good line. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> well, you know, their leader stood up, so now they have to. That's how it usually goes. <laughs> you gotta you gotta give them all one. I feel like this is one of those times where uh they would say no, you cannot be a hero. You gotta give these guys credit though. They are at least not pissing their pants. Oh, 
Some people can change when their back is against the wall, though. Sometimes that's the only way they can change. Oh, they got a, a signal. Because technically, they're not rebel soldiers. They're not bad. Might as well keep them in place if it's taking the making the rebel soldiers not show up. Okay, I'll get I'll give them that. That's actually kind of a good thing. Now I see why Luffy and them would keep them there. <laughs> I can't get used to that thing at all. Is it trying to follow Ace? Yeah, no, that was an interesting, that was kind of interesting because I didn't want them to win. I think it's one of the, the times where I was like, I didn't really like them in the very the beginning of the episode. I was just waiting for them to get their asses kicked by Luffy and them or like, but they actually kind of learned a lesson. And then when I thought about it at the very end, it makes complete sense to keep them in place there because Luffy and them can't be everywhere. And they're technically keeping the rebels out, right? They're keeping the rebels from coming there, regardless of them just doing it for free food and free stuff. They're not attacking. They're not doing uh, malicious stuff like attacking the village or hurting anyone. So it makes sense to keep them in place, get their courage up a little bit more. And now they're more inclined. If a rebel group actually attacks, they'll fight back. Um, so it's kind of brilliant on Ace and all their uh, all their ways of doing that and kind of um, changing their minds and kind of them kind of doing uh, doing that little setup there. I, I hadn't really thought about that during half the episode. I'm like, oh, that's actually kind of smart. <laughs> but anyway, let's go to the next one. They're in the constant like dehydration, constant state of dehydration all the time. Luffy, now it's a combo of hunger and dehydration. At least they have some water. Well, <laughs> you can run out like immediately. We've already seen how far these places are spread out. Wow. He can be that, you know, her knight in shining armor. Here's your water. She has a good memory. Eleven years ago. I mean, they can only do so much. <laughs> beating up the kid right in front of them. See, that's a good thing. Gotta understand how, you know, kids or individual people would feel, but probably not something you should be saying to a king. You can recognize he's doing it for good reason, you know, good reasons. Ooh. <laughs> Such a good king. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Mini Chocobo. I feel like this dad has to apologize for everything. Like daily. I swear the facial expressions in this show are just the best. When they have like their mouth wide open like that. So they're just doing that in broad daylight, huh? 
having fights. Where's the adults? <laughs> Not an adult in sight. Huh. <laughs> Is that really gonna hide the king's appearance? Come on. <laughs> She'll talk to, I mean, her and the king will talk to anybody. It's good leadership. They are the worst at hiding, though. I'm under a tree. <laughs> Just a good dad. Worried about Vivi. Good to have good memories. Okay, maybe maybe not so good memories. I'm sure the princess of the kingdom probably shouldn't be walking by herself and stuff like that, you would think. So how strong does it say those guys are when they're getting beat up by five-year-olds? Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe they're not losing. It is funny to see, it's really funny to see that, uh, <laughs> Chocobo mini. The hell is that? Probably shouldn't poke things you don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of like showing the fighting, they just show Usopp screaming and dancing in the background. That's how you save on animation. Yep. Like I said, princesses should not be by themselves. They should have guards all the time. Especially that young when she can't actually, you know, fight. Kinda got their butts kicked. This is why you have a guard with them and not an army of five-year-olds? No, too much creepiness. <laughs> These guys are incredibly weak. Yeah, but stick versus, you know, club versus a knife or sword. But he's got good morals, so. Ooh. I mean, he protected Vivi. He gets all the respect for that one. Now the now the guy actually did get beat up by a kid. Oh, oh, were they there the whole time? Or they got, maybe they just got there just in time. <laughs> the dad really cares, but if you really cared, make sure you have a guard at all times. Yeah, they were. I mean, they were really brave to protect, uh, you know, to protect Vivi like that. Which they weren't used to. Well, you gotta remember, you're a princess, so, you know, people under you like that are going to act like that. Hmm. 
this gave her a good like lesson on you know on a bunch of stuff really the step in a right direction for maturity and maybe maybe the kid will you know respect the king a little bit more too Happier times, it seems like. Yuba. You gotta get your water and, you, you know, your food somewhere. That's definitely a time-consuming thing, though, to build a, an entire town. So that's more like a good memory for her. Oh. Oh, shit. He's the he's the leader of that rebel area. I mean, just normal shenanigans. <laughs> they're like talking something really important the whole episode and they're just eating. Uh, that is such typical Luffy. <laughs> Them just eating while they're telling like a super important story. Oh, you were talking about something interesting? Oh, whatever. Um, but I think the, the biggest thing we got out of this was um, we find out at the very end of this episode that the leader of the place that they they're going to right now is that kid. And the only thing I could see, like, from that story, why he would turn into, like, a rebel leader is only the beginning of that episode where he's, you know, fighting with the king and fighting, you know, and, you know, being mad about leadership and all that stuff. And that's why, you know, rebels happen. But it seemed like his mind was changed when he met Vivi and had all this stuff happen. It looked like he even respected the king more. So what happened between that time frame to make this kid grow up into a rebel leader? And, you know, they're being stationed at the place they ended up building. I mean, did, does that mean that entire, uh, like, that entire city ended up, like, becoming just a city full of rebels? Like, the entire city itself became rebels? Or did uh, the, a bunch of the rebels from other towns just go up and now that's just, like, their big rebel base? It's, I, I just, I don't know. Like, I from that episode, it just really seemed like it had changed his mind. But a lot can happen in, you know, in years and years, of course. I mean, the that guy was, you know, he was a kid. So growing up as an adult, there definitely could have been something that happened to make him change and want to become a rebel. Uh, but the beginning of the episode really did show that that could be a possibility. It's just, I felt like after having that experience with Vivi, and uh you know and and the king and it seemed like he had had he had gained a little bit more respect uh that he wouldn't turn out to be something like that but it looks otherwise so i'm interested to see the reasoning why uh that happened i'm wondering if we'll get that on the next episode um but anyway guys it's kind of a short um a little short ending here. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. If you guys don't know, I'm actually in this weird transition. I just moved into a new place and I, I don't have, I'm waiting on a computer desk. So this is a really weird rig. Like my lighting ain't perfect. I think it's even on my glasses, right? It's really, it's really weird because I'm in the kitchen. I'm in my kitchen right now. Um, <laughs> so I, I do apologize if there was any, um, uh, any differences in this episode at, or I mean in this reaction at all but uh, probably the next couple one pieces and I'm doing like a batch of episodes for all my shows feel free to check out the patreon of uh, the patreon of course patreon.com slash ajrich123 if you want to see this or any of my other shows but um, 
I am uh, in this transition period, so it's a little strange, a little bit different. My camera's at a different angle. I'm like having, I'm putting, like everything's at a different spot, which I'm not used to. I'm like at the side here. Um, <laughs> you guys can't really tell that much because, it, you know, green screen, it's all, uh, you know, the same type of setup. But for me, this is super weird. Um, <laughs> but uh, everything should be back to normal in a day or two, which will probably be in a couple more One Piece reactions. Uh, because I uh, and then I'll have my computer desk and then we'll have this set up in an actual room. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.